Hi there, I thought I'd show my new snake rack that I bought from IKEA and I've got my snakes in right now but you can see that it's not used exclusively for snakes but at any point in the future I can just buy a few more shelves and then convert it into a full snake rack full of snakes. So this is made from the standard IKEA PAX wardrobe frame. This is the black brown colored one and the dimensions are 75 centimeters wide, 58 centimeters deep and 201 centimeters high and to assemble the wardrobe part of it it's just exactly the same that you would normally assemble it for any other sort of use. You don't do anything differently, you just assemble the outside exactly the same. With the shelves however, if you're going to use them the same way I am with the lidded version then you can use the same installation instructions that come with the shelves but if you want to use without lids then you may have to just drop them down and then draw your own holes in the sides so you'd have to modify it that way but otherwise you could pretty much leave it the same as you as it is if you're just going to use it with the lids which is what I've done. So the main tub that I'm going to be using with this rack is the 33 litre really useful box. That's a type of tub that we get here in the UK. The tub is 17.9 centimetres long and the shelf is 71.1 centimeters so there's a two mole gap that allows enough space for it to wiggle in and out without any issues but also it's tight enough that you would keep in any heat or anything so that you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. I chose these tubs because they're used quite widely by most of the royals or ball python breeders or keepers in the UK. Um, the great thing about them is they have this reinforced bottom. You can see the honeycomb pattern. Uh, it really makes it more rigid and it prevents it from bowing or warping or doing anything strange when you apply heat to it. This is my lesser female. She, you can see that even though she's not even a year old, she's quite big, but she has more than enough space to grow up to almost adult size in here. When they do reach adult size, then I'll maybe consider looking at bigger tubs for some of the bigger girls, but for the next year and a half to maybe even three years, this tub will be perfect for her, and I'm hoping it'll be good enough until they're adult size. I decided to go with tubs instead of terrariums, which is what my original plan was because of a few different reasons. The main reason is I chose terrariums initially for visibility. I wanted to see my snakes. I didn't want them hiding away in a drawer somewhere. But as you can see between the two of these, the tub actually allows more light in so I can actually see the snakes more when they're out compared to the terrarium. So, and that was the main point of getting that so that didn't matter anymore. And then also after cleaning out a few cages, the tubs are so much easier to clean compared to the terrarium and the terrarium keeps a smell for quite a long time so that's another big thing and the tubs are less than a third of the price of the terrarium so all of these together and including space because the tubs take up much less space just it's sort of a no-brainer as to why I went with tubs instead of the terrariums. So back to the rack the only real modification that I had to make was I had to make small holes at the bottom of each level just to pass through the cables for the heating. And once I drilled those holes, all I had to do was to simply take off the plug on the heating pad, pass it through the back of one level, up and then to the middle level where I kept all of the, the plugs and all the thermostats and then put the plug back on and then you just plug it in, that was it. It was really easy to do. So that's my IKEA snake rack. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The thing I like about it is it's really cheap compared to a rack built by someone else. It's really versatile as you see my child's toys and stuff on the bottom half of it and it's pretty much stuck from IKEA. I had to make minimal modifications and it suits my purposes exactly for what I need so that's what I've done let me know what you think and let me know what you think of the new format of the videos the links to the IKEA stuff will be in the description so is the link to the catchy little backing track thanks cheers